30. So what, what I do, amen, amen. I program myself to leave at 8.30. Now, do I leave at 8.30? No. But even if I leave late, I still get here by 9.15, 9.20. Amen. Yes, so I'm in place to pray by what? 9.30. Amen. So for some of us, this is our second round of church. Amen. Amen. The Lord met us. Amen. We had a couple tag team pray, then a word, some word. I didn't hear all of it. I tried not to because I don't know how it's going to mess with what I'm doing. Thank you, Jesus. But it was like firecrackers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One popped off over here. No one popped off over there. Thank you, Jesus. I think you got a little bit of Sunday school in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But so if you go to a good restaurant sometimes, you don't even have to order off the menu. Come on. You just order the appetizer. Thank you, Jesus. And some of y'all missing the appetizer when y'all don't come to 930 prayer. Because I can just take the bread, the soup, the salad. We could have went all home. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All I say is try it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's try it. Most of us have to be at work by 8, 9 o'clock anyway. 9.30. Amen. Amen. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Amen. 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 God Hallelujah. does great and marvelous things. Yes, Lord. Amen. In the midst of his people. That's Amen. Up. Amen. Let's go to the word of God. Pray for those who are sick and shut in. Those who could not be here today. Some are traveling. Amen. Thank God once again for my co-worker and husband Amen. being here with us today. Amen. 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 We never see each other outside of work, so I don't know. <laughs> Amen. 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 It's like, well, how do you know he ain't like that? <laughs> Amen. 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 Something about the Holy Ghost I can't explain. Amen. 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 Oh, 
Remember it and keep going, cause y'all keep going. You cut that out. Let's yeah, stop. That bedroom praise is coming out now. That car pulled on the side of the road, sitting in the parking lot praise is coming out now. When you gotta run to the bathroom because you don't want nobody to see you crying at work, praise is coming out right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We know how to do it pretty in front of the people, but we know how to get ugly when it is us and God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Speak, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Yes, sir. Glory be to God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Worship God, your strategy. Some of y'all been beating your head against the wall trying to figure out. And right now in your moment of worship, God is hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just move this over here. Call this one. And not only that, but he's setting up favor that when you call. The person that said, I ain't going to do it, won't going to do it, can't do it, will say, I must do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you right now need God to force a must do. Yes, Lord. What do you mean? What do you mean? The credit score don't ain't right. The, the, the money in the bank ain't right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The income, the tax refund didn't come back right. But God's still going to do it on your behalf. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. And when he does it on your behalf, you will know it was nobody but the Lord. I like it. You get but God. But God. Hallelujah. You need a but God. You need a but God deliverance. You need a but God. Yes. You need a but God. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I speak it over your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I speak it over your life. Hallelujah. I speak it over your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm laughing out of order here. Thank you, Jesus. I speak it over your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. All of y'all that they said is upside down, God is going to flip it right side up. Hallelujah. And those that know what I'm talking about, know what I'm, what's been upside down, God said, I'm going to flip it right side up. Thank you, Jesus. 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 And when he do it, call me. Text me. Thank you, Jesus. That the word that was spoken won't fall to the ground. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When you get that unexpected call, when you get that unexpected approval, thank you, Jesus. Testify. Oh, God took what was upside down and made it right side up. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Deliver your soul. I got to move on. I saw some of y'all pockets. When you're broke, you can take the, the cloth out and you can pull it out because there ain't nothing in there. Yes, sir. But when it's full of money, what they do? They start wagging down. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Come on. What are you talking about? God's going to turn what's upside down, right side up. Yes, Where you've been going around looking like this. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Going Come around. On, Jesus. Come ain't on. got nothing, nothing on. left, Thank nothing to offer. My Lord. God's going to take it from being nothing empty. To where you will be weighed down. Come on, yeah. Thank, Jesus. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't because you're packing a piece, but because God's gonna bless you abundantly. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't no prosperity preacher. I ain't trying to preach prosperity, but sometimes the Lord say, bless the people. Y'all been faithful, you been working, you've been serving, you're a sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You did all this so other couples could be blessed. 
How come God can't boomerang a blessing back on you? Thank you, Jesus. 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 You send it out, but God's going to send it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let me move on. Some of y'all say, hurry up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And when that boomerang, you just lift your hands and catch it. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift your hands and catch it. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it when it comes back. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. Job 23. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Job 23. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 <coughs> Hallelujah. God gives, I was thinking about this morning, he gives favor to those who faith, have faith and are faithful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you that have faith and are faithful. Hallelujah. You have favor on your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Job 23, verse 8. Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. And backward, but I cannot perceive him. This Job told my God, I don't know where he is. <laughs> How could a omniscient God can be found? He's like, I don't know where God is. Anybody ever felt that way? I don't know where God is. Sometimes you say it about your spouse, you man, I don't know where he is. And some of y'all feel the same. I don't know where God is. Thank you, Jesus. On the left hand, where is he to do his work? But I cannot behold him. Hiding himself on the right hand that I can't see him. And some of you will go as far as that. I can't even feel him anymore. Have you ever been so low you just couldn't feel God? Lord have mercy. But then he says, but he knoweth the way that I take. When he has what? Tried me. I shall come forth as gold. Second Corinthians 4 and 17. 4 and 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. The Lord, this message may not be for everybody, but I hope everybody can enjoy it. But for the one that God told me to tell this to, he said, after this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After this. Hallelujah. Father, give us ability to preach your word to your people in this hour. Send an anointing that confirms this word. Miracles, signs, and wonders Hallelujah. to be performed in the midst of your people and not many days since. But this is our prayer for your people. In Jesus' name, we pray and all of God's people say, amen. amen. Paul writing uh, to the church of Corinthian, earlier in the passage, he says, what we are troubled on every side. But then he says, yet not distressed. He said, we're perplexed, confused, baffled. But he said, what? We are what? Not in despair. We're persecuted. People don't like us. Devil is after us, but he says, even when you feel that way, you're what? Not forsaken. Even when he said you're cast down, people throwing you down, and sometimes you ever felt like somebody just knocked you down, and then not only that, rather than giving you a hand to pick you up, they stepped on you. Thank you, Jesus. Some of y'all watch basketball, and somebody got dunked on, and they would make it worse is when the dude just walks over top of them. Thank you, Jesus. Not only did you embarrass me by dunking on me, but you humiliated by the way you walk in. And sometimes it seems as though the devil had dunked on us, knocked us down, and then he's so bold and bodacious while we're down, he just want to prance all over top.
top of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, cast down but not destroy. But he said, what? That, that for the life of Jesus may be what made manifested in us. That these things is so that Jesus in us can what be manifested outside of us to what the world. But then in verse 17, he said, what does light affliction? I'm like, oh, how are you going to judge what my affliction is? But he said, it's merely what light affliction. And he said, this pain and the suffering that you're experiencing, not only is it light affliction, but he also asked the other part, he said, it's only for a moment, but it seems like I've been going through this for years. It seems like I've been going through it for a long time. And some of you, it has not been just a week. It has not been just a month. Some of you will say for decades, thank you, Jesus, I have been dealing with this particular affliction. But the Bible says, Paul said, it worketh for a far more exceeding, thank you, Jesus, and eternal a weight of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Are you praying with me in here? And so as I read this passage of scripture, my mind, it begins to immediately think about uh, the metal gold. Thank you, Jesus. Gold is still uh, the most valuable metal. Thank you, Jesus. They tell us that gold never rusts. Gold never tarnishes. God, gold never corrodes. That gold actually is indestructible and what lasts forever. There is uh, scientifically said there's no real way of uh, what to destroy gold. Even when it is melted, what it is still gold. Even when it's mixed with other substances, it still retains its what characteristics as gold. Thank you, Jesus. Yet. When you mine for gold, or when you find gold, you will never find gold in a 100% state, what, of purity. There's going to be dirt, there's going to be carbon, there's going to be other metals, other impurities that are mixed with the gold. It's still gold, but it's other stuff that has been attached to it that may make it look less than gold. But the reality is, even in its less glamorous state, less pure state, the reality is, if it is gold, it is still gold. Are you praying with me here? And so man has come up with different strategies. What? To purify gold. And I looked up the different strategies. There's one called the crucible method where the gold is crushed. It is ground down to what? Fine powder. And some of you seen old western movies where they sift through it. Thank you Jesus. And allow what? The trash to fall through. But yet the crust, the, the, the pure powder of gold. Uh, even gold dust still has value, yeah, even yeah. in a dust form. Are you praying with me in here? And so the crucible method, the crushing method is used to, to purify. Oh, the second method is what the furnace method, which we've seen. Thank you, Jesus. Heat is applied to the gold and the impurities raised or raised to what the surface and a person then has to skim off the surface uh -huh. the impurities. And the thing is, with the furnace method, sometimes it requires multiple dippings back into the fire. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus, to get the impurities out. Any uh, country folk ever watch collard greens? Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You put them in the sink. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. You wash them one time. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. But I was taught you wash them till what the water is clear. Can I talk about it in here? And so sometimes you wonder, well, I've been washed once. Why I got to go back in it again? But through the process of the continuous washing, the continuous fire, why is it that after I come out of this, I got to what? Go through that. Understand that's God's way of putting you back in the fire. What in order to get what impurities out of you? When I looked at the heat of the fire, even if you cook meat at a high temperature, the max is around 600 degrees at the max. If you even open an oven that hot, you'll probably burn the eyebrows off your face. Thank you, Jesus. But this fire is so hot, it's around 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. So the heat that you have ever felt 
is only a third of the heat that it takes what to purify the, the gold. Are you praying with me in here? But it takes that repeated process of that extreme heat to get the junk out the gold so that the gold can what be purified and reveal its purpose. The third method is what the acid method, strong chemicals, hydrochloride, nitrate, things that were burned with the skin off your body. It's then applied what to the goal in order, thank you Jesus, to dissolve the impurities. And that's the beauty of it. The chemicals, thank you Jesus, will, will, will burn and dissolve the stuff in the gold that don't belong there. But the gold, thank you Jesus, can withstand the chemicals to it. Are you praying with me in here? So what may have destroyed somebody else? Thank you, Jesus. God said the car, you are made of gold. Thank you, Jesus. What killed them? What took them out? What destroyed them? Thank you, Jesus. Only purified you. Are you praying with me in here? There's the mixed metal method where they take other less valuable metals and they mix them with what the gold and what happens is the contaminants cleave to the other metals leaving the gold what in the pure state. And then the fifth method is called the electric method. It's the newest method where they run what electricity through the gold. And by essentially shocking what Thank you, Jesus. The gold, it destroys the what impurities, but leaves the gold. And they say what in the purest state of all, 99.9% .9 purity through what the electric method. How many of you think, God, you got the Holy Ghost on the inside? So when, when it's not the trials, when it's not the tribulations, thank God there's some Holy Ghost electricity that knows how what to get the impurities and infirmities what out of my life. And so in this family matters Sunday, the Lord told me to tell you, understand, we want gold. How many want more gold? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, many of us want to become what? Pure gold. And many of us have unrealistic expectations. We want our spouses what to be pure gold. We want our marriages what to be pure gold. We want our children, our church to be pure gold. But the Lord told me to tell you, don't throw away the gold because it ain't pure and perfect yet. Can I talk about it in here? God says stop focusing on what the impurities that's attached to the gold, but focus on the gold that's in the midst of the impurities. Are you praying with me in here that I am, we are gold now. What do you mean? Even though I'm dirty, even though I'm grimy, even though there are other uh, impurities that are attached to me, understand that the heat, that the acid, that the crucible does not turn the, the metal into gold. It was gold already. But the crucible, the fire, the acid, the electricity removes the imperfections so the gold that is in me can come forth more pure. I am praying with the in here. And so the Lord is saying that through the fire, through the acid, through the crucible, thank you, Jesus, the operation of my spirit. I am perfecting you. I am what perfecting what your marriage. I am what perfecting your family. That's why in First Peter chapter number four, he said, What think it not strange? Thank you, Jesus. Or don't be what surprised concerning the fiery trials, which is what to try you, though it is what something strange or unusual. But understand, God is taking the fiery trials that come to you and to your marriage and what to your family. He said, I'm making the gold that is in you more pure. Thank you, Jesus, for your good, but it's for what? The glory of God. What are you talking about? The setbacks. Thank you, Jesus. The struggles. Thank you, Jesus. The humiliating experiences. Thank you, Jesus. The sleepless nights. Thank you, Jesus. The anxiety, the sorrow, the pain, the suffering that you go through. The Lord is saying, I'm doing it not to destroy you because I know what you're made of. 
that what is sent to destroy others <laughs> is meant to make you more pure. <laughs> that I'm here what to perfect you. <laughs> I'm trying to get the full value out of who you are. <laughs> but it has to go through some washing, some scrubbing, <laughs> some crucifying, some crushing that has what to take place. <laughs> That's why the word tells us in Isaiah 48. <laughs> he said, Behold, I have what refined thee. <laughs> Not with silver, but he said, I have chosen thee in the what? The furnace of affliction. Yeah. And the Lord told me to tell somebody, you're wondering why me? Why us? Yes, it gets hot sometimes. Yeah, it hurts sometimes. Yeah, it burns sometimes. Yeah, it's embarrassing sometimes. But the Lord is saying, if you can endure what? The process. He said, what? After this. After the light affliction that is only for a season. The light affliction that's only what? For a moment. The Lord is saying, you're going to have the testimony of Job that after he tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. What are you talking about, preacher? Your marriage is going to be pure gold. Yeah. Your family is going to be pure gold. Yeah. Your ministry is going to be pure gold. Yeah. Your, your church is going to be pure gold. Yeah. After you endure the fire, yeah. after you endure the crushing, yeah. after you endure the scrubbing, yeah. after you endure the heat, yeah. after you endure, thank you, Jesus, yeah. the electric shock. God is saying, I know what I put in. Yeah. And if you hold on, if you hold out, you're going to shine like never before. So the Lord told me to tell somebody on this Sunday morning, shake your neighbors as a neighbor. After this, I'm going to look better than I ever looked before. Our marriage is going to look better than it ever did before. My church it's going to look better than it ever did before. My children are going to look better than they ever did before. So when we go through the fire, don't think it's you or me. The God said, I cause all things to work together for the good of them that love the Lord. So the Lord told me to tell somebody, don't go away the gold just because it's dirty. Don't go away the marriage just because you're struggling. Don't go away the kids because they're hard-headed and rebellious. The God said, I'm taking the upsets. I'm taking the down moments. I'm taking the attacks. I'm taking the scars. I'm taking the things that have been thrown at you. Not to destroy you, but to let you shine. Cause after this, we gon' shine. After this, it shall be great glory. After this, my praise will be better. After this, my testimony will be stronger. After this, my worship will be more pure. After this, we're coming out of it. God said, I put you in the fire, but I ain't going to leave you in there. After the time is up, you're coming out as pure gold. Why you like me now? Look at me. I'm shining now. Look at me. I got rid of malice, got rid of bitterness, got rid of temper tantrum. Look at me now. Yes. Tell somebody, look at me now. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying, Thank you, Jesus. He said, I'm not. He said, I didn't throw you away. Because you were dirty. He said, but I had to put you through the fire. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you can shine. Hallelujah. So you can live up to your full potential. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Live up to your full glory. Thank you, Jesus. It's only for a moment. Hallelujah. Tell somebody it's only for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. It's only for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because if the gold is still in the fire, thank you, it can't be the ring that is intended to be. If the gold stays in the fire, and then it becomes the necklace that it's supposed to be. If the gold remains in the fire, it will never fulfill its purpose. Thank you, Jesus. So God is saying, I got a purpose for you and your family. Yeah, you've been through the fire. But after this, after this, if your spouse is here, look at him and say, after this. Honey, after this, 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 hallelujah. After this. We're going to be stronger. We're going to be wiser. We're going to be better. The Lord is saying, I'm done here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, two things I want to leave with you. One, he said, I wouldn't put you through the process if I didn't know your potential. Thank you, Jesus. What am I talking about? Thank you, Jesus. He didn't put me in the fire to destroy it, but he put it in the fire to purify. Thank you, Jesus. So what you think is coming at you to destroy you? God said, I didn't send it to destroy you. Hallelujah. He said, I said, what? To perfect you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands right there. Thank you, Jesus. And the second thing is, when some of you are ready to give up on your marriage, give up on your spouse, thank you, Jesus. Give up on your children. The Lord is saying, in this season, Hallelujah. hold on to your goal. Yeah. Why? Because goal always increases that. What do you mean? You ready to throw away the marriage? <laughs> you ready to throw away that husband? You ready to throw away that wife? You ready to throw away the kids? Ready to throw away the ministry? Ready to throw away the church? Why? Because you think it's no value, it's no good. But a wise person knows what to hold on to go. Because if it's the value of gold, it's going to go back up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And so the Lord is telling me, hold on to what God has given you. Hold on to the word that God is giving Hold on to the anointing that God is giving Hold on right now. Because eventually our value is about to go up. Come on, somebody. Your value is about to go up. What does that mean? You will be a blessing to somebody else. Why? Right, because you endured the process. After this, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Yeah. Perhaps today you're here. 